Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Diesel Spec, engine tuning experts. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, Rig of the Week a 2003 Peterbilt, the Dreadnought. We're back at Dan Ross. Ontario Truck Driving School in London, Ontario. And Winter Driving with Wayne Lug of Laidlaw Van LP. We started from Guelph, Ontario, Puss Lynch, Ontario at our terminal. We're hauling this load. Uh, another truck brought it in from Ohio. Uh, we'll take it up to our yard in North Bay and eventually, as its delivery nears, it'll be taken up to uh, North Rouen or Anda, Quebec. What we have is ground up electronic strap for recycling. And uh, we will then take an empty trailer from that yard to Tembeck, Temboard, Temiskaming, about 40 miles. And we will be picking up a load of fiber. We'll take it back to the yard, and another truck will take it off to Illinois. So we'll have done, by the time we get back tonight, we don't run into too much more weather, <laughs> uh, we'll have worked a full trucking day, probably done 600 miles today, by the time we get back. Normal phrase planner Cascadias with the, this configuration come with uh, a longer hood. I didn't need a longer hood because I only wanted a 13 liter engine. So I have a DD13 in the truck. So this engine is a 450 horsepower engine uh, producing 1,650 foot pounds of torque. I could put it up to 485 horsepower, but it still only produces 1,650 foot pounds of torque. I don't use horsepower. To get that horsepower, I need to be running it at 1,800 RPM. The only time my engine runs at 1,800 RPM is when I go downhill and the jakes are working. The rest of the time, if it, it, it rarely, if ever, goes over 1,600 RPM. And when I'm putting the fuel to it, it never goes over 1,500 RPM. I put a 13-speed automated, Eaton has the Eaton automated transmission. Changed the gear rear end gauge ratios to get it to my speed, so they had to be changed by two ratios which is no big deal uh, when the truck's brand new. Um, I put a disc brakes on it to match the disc brakes that Laidlaw invested in. I don't want to show you how good they work. Uh, there is no question that disc brakes work extremely well. And there's some other benefits of them. <laughs> they don't get out of adjustment for slack adjusters in the scale. So just right, right that alone is a, quite a safety factor. I don't have to worry about my brakes being out of adjustment. Eldorado seats. <laughs> You have to order them today. Back in 1994, when I first uh, experienced Eldorado seats, I, um, uh, they, you could order them in a truck, but you can't anymore. The uh, dream of retirement and being retired, that's why it's called the dream truck, because it's the truck that's going to put us there. <laughs> and it's working. It is working. That's what my wife had that put in the front. I wanted aging to perfection on the front. It's on the it's on the sleeper in the back, <laughs> but yeah, it, the the graphics on the truck were designed and looked at to match the Laidlaw motif. Looks good hooked to their trailers, and I do get compliments on the truck and the trailer regularly. Somewhere through its life, it will be hauled by a trucker. The more efficient and effectively. I can haul that freight by not waiting in traffic, by being allowed to accelerate properly with proper fuel economy measures and not being hurried, not being rushed, not having to brake hard. All of those things keep my cost down. My cost stays down, your consumer goods stay down. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's, all, it's just mathematics. And so, like I say, it's space and time. Give us more space, give us more time. After the break, Rig of the Week, 
a 2003 Peterbilt, the Dreadnought. And we're back at Dan Ross. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tune in for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School, training for your future, your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. RPM Havelock. The show that has it all. Artistry in iron motorcycles. All the car clubs. Every type of cool car. Meet Danny, the Count of Counting Cars. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show in Charge. Swappy, farm equipment, boats. Every type of cool car. RPM Havelock. The show that has it all. A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying your business load. Closed captioning by Bryson Insurance, your partner in success for family and business. I'm Kevin Pellrine with uh, Aberfoyle Crane Rentals. We just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Uh, the company up at RJ's Trucks, we bought it off of him and the truck had just shown up on the lot and we were there to sign the paper that day. Right place at the right time. 2003 Peterbilt. We use it to haul around our counterweights for our crane. It's a good truck, nice truck. What you see is what you get. Um, interior is pretty nice. I put a lot of chrome on the interior. Under the hood, it's got a C15 cat in it, 475 horse. Uh, at nighttime, there's a lot of glow underneath the truck. There's a lot of lights on it. Tip to tail, there's probably over 60 lights. <laughs> it's got a lot of emblems in it. Uh, took uh, step boards off an old uh, Decker Harley, and we put them as the steps to climb into the truck. And up on uh, the window as you're looking, it's got two mirrors off an old Harley-Davidson Classic that you can uh, pretty much just watch the bunk, but they look cool. The Dreadnought artwork uh, came from uh, the early war, the 1920s. There was a, a battleship that got nicknamed the Dreadnought. It, was, it had such an impact on the war that people dreaded not to see it. Uh, that's where the artwork came from. We're going to be on this truck for a long while. We're going to keep it for hopefully about 10 years.
Day and Ross Trucking Company started uh, many years ago, uh, literally two gentlemen, Mr. Day and Mr. Ross. Primary function uh, was actually to haul potatoes for the McCain Food Group. And over the years, uh, transformed and, and took a, a life of its own, still uh, as a wholly owned uh, division of the McCain Group, and uh, provides full LTL services um, and TL services uh, across the country. We still maintain McCain as one of our large customers, and that's that's really the core. That's uh, you know one of our core businesses that helped us to uh, to you know to develop our footprint on the map. Safety is absolutely number one for us as an organization, right from the frontline supervisor on the floor all the way to the president, CEO, or CEO of the organization. Uh, safety um, and, and, a, and a comfortable place to work means we're looking out for our people. So as a people-driven organization, employees, owner-operators, we're able to offer and, and come to the table with uh, a level of service that, that I think far outreaches our competitors. It is predominantly uh, vans, so reefers and dry vans. Food product, general commodities, uh, automotive parts, chemicals, tires. We have a very good presence in the retail market. We're really, you know, we're spread out quite uh, and diversified quite well. Our reach as uh, uh, domestic Canada, transborder services, so Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Um, and then in, in, within our group of companies, obviously, we have some other divisions that offer 4PL services. So we can, we can even extend into containers and intermodal. We presently intend to double our business by our fiscal 16. And to double our business, we, we want to be the premier carrier of choice in the market. Uh, that, that could hold any number of changes for us in terms of our uh, the size and scope and, and, and what we look like, but that change in, the, in, the, in the embracing that spirit of development I think is really exciting for everybody. Trucking is going to be here for the, for the long haul, pardon the pun, and, uh, and with the uh, average age of a driver uh, exceeding uh, you know, mid-50s, we really need the interest of the younger generation. A typical Day and Ross driver is a professional businessman. Uh, a professional business man or woman who have a desire to partner with a, in a long-term relationship with an established business partner, uh, like-minded uh, and looking out for their interests as well as that of the company. So the average Day and Ross owner-operator would, um, would be very successful in, in managing um, their, their affairs on a day-to-day -day basis and developing their customer base and, and providing input and direction into um, assisting management and developing where the company's going to go. Well, we have our, our um, single owner operator, one man or woman owns a truck and provides services for us. Um, as well, we have the opportunity for the, that owner operator to grow with us and to, and, and to expand their business as we do with ours. So as we bring on additional trucks into any given terminal or, or into the line haul network, we very often um, give first opportunity to an existing driver or owner operator rather to either purchase an additional truck uh, and employ somebody to, uh, to drive for them, allowing them to grow and develop their business with ours. After the break, Ontario Truck Driving School in London, Ontario. Diesel Spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying your business load. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a drive. Now hiring company drivers. 
women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. RPM Havilah, the show that has it all. Artistry in iron motorcycles. All the car clubs, every type of cool car. Meet Danny, the count of counting cars. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap beat, farm equipment, boats, every type of cool car. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. I took over the business back in 1978. It was a car uh, training business. We grew the business from there. We started getting calls for truck training, so I decided to start looking into it. And then that's when we started uh, uh, the truck training uh, division. And then from there, um, a few years later, we got into heavy equipment as well because there was demand for that and still demand for that as well. And then uh, a few more years later, we started expanding into different branches, different uh, cities, and that's where we, uh, where we are now. We started with two full-time and a part-time employee, and now we're up to about 45 uh, to 50 people full-time. Part Things keep changing every year. Uh, there are minimum standards right now that are set by the Ontario uh, Minister of Education. So the program uh, kept on evolving and now uh, we have this minimum standard that we have to abide by. At the same time, we've always gone over and above. Even those minimum standards that were put, put in place, I was the president of the Truck Training School Association at that time and then I helped them uh, to uh, make sure that these minimum standards are all in there and all uh, needed for a new graduate. The Ontario government and federal government have put a program together, it's called Second Career, and that's to help uh, laid off workers uh, retrain and get back to work. So this one also qualifies for truck training and heavy equipment training. So for anybody that is laid off now and is interested in going in this career, they may qualify for full funding to take the course. And at the same time, they've seen the success of these people after taking the course and how quickly they can be employed. And the success for them finding jobs is very, very high. Uh, some of the graduates that we have end up with three, four job offers at the end of their training. So this is why uh, the uh, second, career, second career program uh, loves the idea when people say that they're going into trucking because they know that they're going to be successful and they know they're going to be working very short. As time goes by, obviously we try to improve, we try to add to it. More knowledge is better for the student. They're new drivers, obviously, and they don't have the experience on the road as such, but they still need a driver that's going to be safe and on the right track. 
to do proper things the proper way, and that's what we're here to do. So it gets into here. the freedom, I guess, is what it is. It was always on my bucket list. I retired more or less from the railway industry, and so I decided I'd want to learn properly, so I came, uh, investigated a few schools, and decided Ontario Truck uh, Driving School was the school for me. They put you through the gears. I want to do long haul. I want to travel across Canada and the U.S. I want to see different places. And if you can get paid to do it, why not? If you're laid off, you should really, or if you're not happy with your job, you should really check into it and see what you think. Uh, after you uh, talk to companies, talk to us, and uh, we're very honest when we're talking to people. We want to make sure that them and their families are uh, supportive of what they're doing before they start into it. After the break, more winter driving with Wayne Lug of Laidlaw Van LP. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Diesel Spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at fleetwaytransport.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Laidlaw Carriers Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Trucker Television, by truckers for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television advertising, speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlaw Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators, competitive fuel surcharge program, base plates, border crossings and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Now hiring company drivers, women and men, late model all Peterbilt fleet, dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Subbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Meet Danny, the count of counting cars. Canada's biggest swap meet. RPM Havelock. My name is Wayne Lug, uh, 59 years old, and I've been trucking since 1980, so what are we at, 33 years, and I've been an owner-operator since 1990, and we're currently sitting in my fourth tractor, this is the fourth tractor I've owned, and it's now 19 months old, and uh, I have my tractor leased to Laidlaw Van, and we're doing very well here and everything is going well and uh, they certainly keep me busy and I have 190,000 miles on it so we've 
even with the holidays I take, I have no trouble getting my 10,000 miles a month. Very straightforward. Keep me occupied and I go to work for my 70 hours and get it done and go home. Long time ago when I graduated from university, I started wandering around and I'd always been interested in driving. I drove on my uncle's farm when I was a teenager and driving our car at home when I was a very young person. <laughs> I was uh, working in an office uh, using my uh, university degree and about 16, 18 months into that, I decided that wasn't for me and I found a job hauling propane and it was on a weekend because the driver I was replacing didn't want to work weekends anymore. So for the two weekends I worked out my uh, notice at my in, inside job, I hauled propane on the weekend. And uh, extremely cold, it was in Alberta and I went from Calgary to north of Medicine Hat and back to Calgary to, a load of, to get a load of propane. Well, I came to Vans when I moved uh, in 1987. I moved to Ontario, and that was the job that was available in Ottawa, hauling dry vans, hauling paper out of the paper mills into the eastern seaboard. And it worked, it set pr properly. I had one short stint hauling tankers on the eastern seaboard, and it became very apparent to me it wasn't what I was thinking of as tanker work, because for the tanker work I did for the first seven years of my trucking career, this was fundamentally different, and that wasn't for me, and tank and vans worked, so it, it has continued to work. When I started trucking, it was pretty much the open road as most people think it would be. Uh, I would haul a load, of, load to Montana, Idaho, Washington and border crossings were fundamentally different. Uh, you did your own paperwork, filled it out. Uh, I used to, some of the small towns at the border crossings, I'd get out of my truck on the main street, uh, walk into U.S. Customs and how are you doing today, Joe? You know, that it was very much a different animal then. And I was getting Technology was going ahead leaps and bounds, and I was just getting to a point where I was getting very frustrated with trucking. The rules were getting tighter. Uh, the open road was disappearing. It was becoming like a job. I didn't do this because I wanted a job. I did this because I wanted a lifestyle. I actually met a young man, a young owner operator, and he started with all of the new technology, if you will. So he wasn't having any problems with it. He was there. And him and I hauled exactly the same load from Alabama to Montreal. And he made it look easy because he was using the technology to make it easy. As soon as I saw it and started to experience it, it, oh, this is what I need to do. I've switched completely the other way. Now I will make it to the end of my career as a trucker because I'm quite satisfied that I've got a firm grip on it. Uh, it is a job. And, uh, one of the things I've learned as I've grown older is don't tamper with, with success. If it's working, don't fix it. Send us a picture of your truck and you could win a set of new line fenders. Working trucks, show trucks. New trucks, old trucks. Send us a picture of your truck. You will be entered into the second annual Trucker Television New Line Fender Contest. Next week on Trucker Television. Rig of the week, a 2011 Volvo from Premier Bulk Systems. 
the success of e-logs with Laidlaw Van LP. And we're hauling heavy with the ladies of Locomote Systems. Trucker Television is brought to you by RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Wasp Cam, the sports action camera Trucker Television uses. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll Encore.